And once again, greetings, all carbon-based units out there. It's uh, coming up on the holiday time. Were you aware of that? Painfully aware of that, I'm sure. This is when you get to buy less knives for you and you have to save all your money for buying stuff for relatives and the kids and stuff. Unless you successfully divested yourself from their interests. And then it's time to buy knives. So we got these from Savivi, and on the 18th of November, does it sound familiar to you? 18th of, oh, look at your calendar. The Mini Praxis and the Clavi are two examples of knives that will be released by Savivi. And these are going to be some good old fashioned bargain basement pricing things. So you like to practice Praxis, didn't you? You like to practice with the Praxis? This is the Praxis in black, but you can get it in other color. And by the way, I might even have a, a data sheet from Savivi. See, there's your model number. So you can just read this. And I'll just show this for the next 20 minutes. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, but it's really like 6.2. Eight inches overall length uh, very you know three inch blade but check this out I mean, MSRP of course $35 but MAP is what most of the retailers sell it for which is minimum advertised price $29.75 that's Ganzo money baby it's gonna have ceramic bearings it's gonna have Stainless steel blade. Hold on. This is D2 on this one. The clavy is going to be nitro V. So that, oh, by the way, clavy. As in clavicle. Here you go. And so this one's going to be, you know, like black one, like I got and or purple. Or you can get micarta. Okay. Micarta is a little bit. But this one is Ostap. Ostap L. Uh, of course, the Polish knife maker and... Uh, global famous globally famous designer as well and $58.99 all the way up to $60.95 for the micarta version of the clavy and you know typical Ostap L right I mean it's it's narrow it's thin it's like a lot of his front flippers oh could this be a front flipper no okay yeah it is so it's a front flipper as well. This is black G10, um, right and left hand on the pocket clip. Okay. Liner lock, of course. Nitro V. And it says it's somewhere around here, but of course they've been really hiding them well, haven't they? Look at this. It's up here. Nitro V right there. Not easy to see. They definitely got the message about billboarding too much, didn't they? So here's what she say. Nitro V. Okay. Of course, it comes with a pouch. But I mean, ceramic bearings, all that kind of stuff. So if you get it like on White Mountain Knives, which they're showing on their site already. Um, and if it's the 18th or after, they'll, they'll be open for business. And then... LTK is a 10% discount code, so this would be, you know, in the low 50s maybe, you know, and uh, this one, whew, I don't know, man, does it get much cheaper than this? Uh, $29.95 minus 10%, so almost $3 off. That's just embarrassing, isn't it? It is embarrassing at that point. And the mini Praxis. So if you like a small easy carry super inexpensive knife from one of the premier you know knife makers as far as i'm concerned we knives savivi sen cut uh, wow okay uh we'll let that happen and no it's a right hand tip up only on this one deep carry clip though hmm shoots right out nice little blade on it and is it really a three inch blade and i bet it is that's what they say it is and yeah it is okay at 75 
75 millimeters and six and three quarter inch overall length at 17 centimeters now how big a old boy is this one which is uh I'm not doing a good job flipping, and I wonder why. Hey, did we already injure ourselves now? Or is that just a daily thing going on around here? Um, ooh, and it's a little stabby, maybe. Three inch, and eh, about six and three quarter. Just, I mean, almost the same length as the mini Paraxis. And just a little over 17, 17.2 centimeters. Okay, and they weigh nothing. I mean, nothing. Where's, where's my little scale? Come here. But what do you think? Front flipper, the clavy. Whew. That blade stock's nothing outstandingly thick, which is good, you know. So this ought to be a little cutter. Where's that? Where can I do some destructive and horrible things? Oh, hold on. Let me get, okay, let me get a piece of paper right here. Nothing like being destruct. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all right. I mean, I'd say that's when <laughs> you got to use a blade part first, not the choil. Um, okay, I'd say both are good factory edge. Um, I wouldn't call either one of them scary sharp, but they're not on the dull end of that situation either. Okay, we got... Uh, the little mini Praxis, 2.75. That is not a whole lot there, is it? And grams? And how did I kick past grams? What are you doing to me these days? That should be grams. Okay, 78 grams. I don't know. It must be haunted. 47 grams on the clavy. I mean, talk about nothing. I wonder, this is not even two ounces, right? Uh, oh, see, it just blew past. There it is. 1.67 ounces. Wow. Wow. Thanks for nothing. Because it weighs nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. And, uh, yeah, I, I did it. Finally did it. Did I injure my band-aid? Okay. So, uh. Ooh, pick. Let me let me let me look at this because I'm kind of curious now how much blade stock we got on this. What do you want to guess? Not three millimeter. Two and a half? Under two and a half. Let's guess under two and a half. 0 0.08. 2.1. And thickness, thickness. Mm, let's keep pushing, keep pushing. Mm, about 10 millimeters at point four so that's that's pretty that's pretty thin okay let's try this one point four five this is more substantial it's definitely heavier um point oh nine two two point four millimeter all of a sudden this has become monster thick blade stock when this one's two point one wow wow so, I mean, I just wanted to let you know. Oh, by the way, by the way, did you click out already? You shouldn't have because here it comes, baby. And I haven't taken this out yet. Hold on. Let me throw these back here for a minute because I want to look at this. I haven't pulled this out yet. Uh, let me whip it out. And here it is. It's... Uh, one of those things you're going to be doing during the promotion all time, you know, I guess the 18th through of November through the 16th of December is my understanding. And of course, I'm probably completely wrong, but I'll give you the link to the Civivi site. There's going to be a map holiday. Now, that doesn't mean you get a free map in the United States. Map means minimum advertised price. So a map holiday to me means that retailers are not bound to have to follow the minimum advertised pricing in, you know, requirements of the manufacturer. But I don't know. So I don't know what's going to happen then at that point. But 
they will also have promotional items available when you buy stuff. And uh, check this out. And I'm not sure that this is like uh, isolated to just the Civivi website. I mean, it's got we Civivi on it. I think these, you may see these at other knife retailers like White Mountain or or Blade HQ or Knife Center or whatever. I don't know. So check that out. But look at this. And you're going to open the damn thing up. Quit talking. Um, how about that? What is this all about? So here's the, full, the kind of a flap that folds back. Here's pouch, pouch, pouch. And, oh, okay, so we're doing it. Okay, so, okay, okay. Um, let me see what we got going in here. Uh, okay, pouch, pouch, and pouch. So they're backing up, you know, so they're going head to head with each other instead of like standing here and then opening and going through there. They're going to come in from either way. So six knives could fit in here. And, uh, Okay, that's uh, not too shabby. And then that folds over, Velcros. So you could take six knives with you at your, uh, you know, get together with the guys, bring, you know, and they, they'll be all protected in this case here. So you might want to look for this and, and or whatever other promotional items they decide to do during this holiday. But this looks pretty good to me. Uh, what do you think? The clavy. And there's others. I mean, you can go to the link I give you for Civivi Knives and click on, you know, newly released or new arrivals and that kind of thing and see what other. And then they have some coming soon, you know, a link. So you can look in that area of their site and see what else is coming in. But, uh, of course, the Praxis. This one, I've got room for all four fingers on it. And then, of course, you can move up on this. And, of course, it's got a nice flat grind on it. It's got a nice little drop to it. And I haven't been into these at all. Okay. But, no, the detent is appropriate. I mean, I tried to fail it there. No, it, it's a nice little, flips right open, it's got jimping on the flipper tab, it's got, you know, it, it's not uh, nested liners, they're regular liners, they show, it's an open design, you got standoffs, and it really looks like this little dog might be for uh, lanyard, okay, so you could do that, centered, no lock, rock, or blade play. It's got a little thumb ramp here uh, for that, but uh, talk about super lightweight and <laughs> really inexpensive. And then is this the, uh, this is the clavy box, okay. So, oh, also, let's, I mean, open this up, but you know, you're getting ceramic bearings in here too. So, I mean, when that's, what, 29 for the little Praxis? Um, okay, so here's the plastic, and you get a microfiber cloth, and you get sticker, and you get your paperwork, all that, and oh, the other knife uh, sticker. So a couple of stickers, paperwork, microfiber cloth, zipper pouch, and not only do you get that for the clavy, but you get that for the Praxis, so... Even though this is almost twice the price. Yeah, almost, right? I mean, this is $29.95, so this is 30 bucks. This is almost 60 so it's pretty close. But this is Nitro V, and then uh, front flipper. Uh, I'm not bragging about the pocket clip necessarily, although... You know, some guys, they're going, you know, people are too um, too wrapped up in deep carry uh, clips. 
uh, they do prefer that there's some way to pull it out of the pocket without involving the clip. And so there's that and kicks that baby right open. Uh, you know, I haven't messed with the, with the pivots. And I think the more you kick it, uh, the better it'll kick. But as far as drop, I mean, there is no weight to this. And yeah, I'd probably loosen this up a little bit. Or maybe drop a little. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, that's not bad. It'll get better as you mess with it. But this is so light. I'm surprised it has any drop at all. Yeah, wow. Swings right around. But you don't have to worry about it cutting you. Uh, because uh, that blade's so light. Interesting. And I can get all my fingers on here, too. And, of course, this, you know, ergos are no problem. Fingers all over the place. Got jumping up here. So, my friends, check it out. This is uh, quite the deal. The, of course, this is uh, Black Friday as we're coming up on in late November and stuff. Uh, everybody's kind of getting on that bandwagon. This ought to be pretty interesting stuff uh, to see what all's going to go on. But Civivi, they've been uh, they've been putting it out this year, haven't they? And then really, a send cut has not been any slouch either. So I've been kind of keeping my eyes on Civivi and send cut both. I like the value you get for the dollar. I think these. These manufacturers here, Civivi, Senkat, which are all part of the Wii Knife family, I think they do a great job with budget knives. It might be the one most people would pick if they're saying, I want, I could only choose one budget knife company. What would that be? It'd be hard choice not to, not to choose Civivi. Just for the diversity of the designs, the standardization of quality and seamless, you know, fit and finish on their knives for the for the dollar spent, you know. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'll leave you alone. Clavy, mini praxis. Check it out. Down below. I've got links there, or you can just go on your own, but uh, the links are easy to click on and just go, whatever. I'm not an affiliate thing. I'm not getting paid. So take care, my friends. You know what we do. Somewhere around here, it says we love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.